So in this video, we are going to learn how to make this mechanism and rig it in Blender. So let's start. So press A, X and delete. Okay. So how should I approach this problem? So first thing that I have to create is base. So what I can do is press 7 on my numpad, click on add, mesh and I will choose circle. I will go down here and make the number of words to 3 and let's increase its length as per your requirement. In my case 4 is fine for me. Click OK. Select this. Press tab to go to the edit mode. Press F to fill it. Enter. Click on face section mode, select this face, press E, Z, move it downwards and enter the distance as per your requirement. In my case, minus 0.2 is fine. Now, go to the edge selection mode. By pressing shift, select the edges that I am showing. Ok, press 7 on numpad, press ctrl B to make it chamfer. Chamfer basically means sharp edges. Bevel means smooth or circular edges. Just in case if somebody doesn't know. Okay. Now, what I will do? I will select this. Press Shift D. Enter. Press G. Z. Move it upwards. Press 7 on numpad. Now, I will press R. Z. And rotate. Rotate how much? 60 degrees fine. Press S, 0.5. Uh, 0.5 is too small. Press S, let's say 0 0.7. 0 0.7 is fine. Okay. Now, I need to make some things uh, to basically, you know, support select things. So, how should I approach this thing? So, click on Add, Mesh. This time, I will use UV sphere, uh, but UV sphere is quite big, so I will decrease the radius to 0 0.1. Uh, 0 0.1 is if 0 0.1 is okay. So I will select this, press tab. Make sure that these two modes are on. Select these faces, press S, set zero. Press E, Z. Uh, this is fine. Press E, enter, scale it up. Press E, Z, G, Z. Uh, I think this much is fine. Click OK. After that, what I will do, I will create another sphere this time. Now, but move it, let's say, at the top. So I will go here, G and move it at the top. Press tab. Select the faces. As set 0. E. And move it downwards. Press G, Z. Uh, I think up to this side is fine. Okay. Press A. Sorry, select this. Press A. Press Ctrl R. Uh, a controller and add some blue cuts. Uh, one more thing that I can do is select this face, press tab, press 7 on numpad, uh, press C, Oops, I think it's more. Okay, hide this thing, hide this one as well, and this one. Go to the face action mode, press C. Enter. Let's see this thing. Yeah, this one is fine. Press E, Z. You know, just some reference examples, nothing else. I think this much is fine for us. Now let's we uh, now we can start to digging. 
Before I start, let's give them some name. So I will select this one and give it name base. Select this one, press F2, give it name top. Select this one, press F2, bottom suspension. Naming is quite convenient. Uh, you know, it helps you to remember what you have done when you, for example, come from a long time ago. So it's quite beneficial. So give it name upper suspension. You can also give name as per your name requirement. So you know country uh, country dependency. So because it's more beneficial than when you give name in your local languages instead of you know giving in English. So what I can do is select this, press G, escape. Wait a minute. So select the bottom suspension, press G, and move it up to here something. So let's add, you know, snapping option, absolute grid snap. So just to make sure it's grid snap properly. Select this one, press 7, press G. I think this much is fine. Now, how can I approach the rigging thing? So what I have to do is first is select this one, press shift as cursor to be selected. Press 7 on numpad. Now I will add some bones. So watch carefully what I'm going to do from now onwards because now the complexity will start increasing. So watch carefully. So click on add. First thing that I'm going to do is add armature. Notice my armature is here. So I will go here, go downwards, click on in front. Select this, press R, Y. 90. Press tab, select this bone, press F2 and give it a name. Uh, let's say root bottom suspension. Select this, press E, Z. Select this by pressing shift, then select this one. Press Ctrl P. Click on keep offset. Similarly, tab to exit this edit mode. Select this one. Press shift as cursor to be selected. Now, what you have to do is watch carefully. Make sure that you set the armature first, then press tab. Okay. Now click on add single bones. Select this. Press R. Notice it is not rotating desiredly. So click on here, 3D cursor, now select this, press R, enter the value of minus 90. Select this, press F2, give it a name, upper, uh, root, upper suspension, root, upper, suspension. Select this, press E, Z. Uh, what is the name given to this one? Okay, I doesn't give the name. Uh, let's say give name bottom suspension. Suspension. Similarly, upper suspension. You know, helps. After that, select this one by pressing shift, select this one. Press Ctrl P, click on keep offset. Now, I will go to the pause mode and check if it is working or not. Select this pawn, press G and move it. Okay, it's good. Select this one, press G, move it. If it is working at this point, it means you have done correctly everything up to this point. Now, what we have to do is, uh, click on edit. Uncheck the lock object modes. Now, by pressing shift, select this bone and uh, select this object, bottom suspension. By pressing shift, select the bone. Press Ctrl P, bone. Similarly, select this one. By pressing shift, select this bone. Press Ctrl P, bone. Now, I will select this bone. Go here. Watch carefully. I am in bone constraint. So, I will click on damp track. Armature, armature what? Root upper suspension. Similarly, select this one. Damp track, 
furniture, root uh, bottom suspension. See how it looks like. Uh, quite a good thing. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I will go to my object mode. Press seven. Uh, just hide these two for a second. Select them. Press Shift D. Enter. Press G. And let's show them both. And I will try to place them correctly. Just to know that my grid snapping mode is on. So you know it will work little bit okay. Not perfect. But yeah it's okay little bit. Now what I want to do is. By press select these two. Press H to hide them. Select, the, select them. Uh, press shift S. Cursor to world origin. Okay, now let's see all of them. Press Shift D R Z. How much? Uh, 120 is fine. Press Shift R. Notice we got a lot of armatures. Uh, that's a little bit now hard work here. Now, what I will do, I will click on Add and click on Armature. Press G Z. Move it upwards. So select this armature, press F2, give the name main, select this, press tab, press F2, give the name controller, because this is the bone that basically control our whole armature thing, and go to the pose mode, select this thing, by pressing shift, select this one, select this one, press control P, bone. Now, now here's some, you know, manual labor work. I try to find some trick around, but unfortunately, those not work for me. So what I have to do is select this bone, bone constraint, click on child off. So click on this and controller. Notice it's settled down a little bit. Click on clear inverse, click on set inverse. Now it's good. Uh, similarly, select this one, click on here, pause mode. Now some people will say, hey, I can, you know, copy the constraints and try that out. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for me. So if you guys know any kind of other shortcuts, we'll really appreciate. Click on here, child of. Uh, select this thing. You can fast forward it. Just in case someone just want to time pass or drinking coffee, can watch this. Now, what you have to do is go to the object mode, and I think we have done it. So, select this one, go to the pose mode. Now, let's see if it is working or not. So, if I uh, select this one, press one, press G, Z. Okay, why it is moving that way? Remember the constraint one? So, snapping one, so just close this. Press G, Z. Hmm, it's working fine to me. Let's press seven. Press G. Hmm. Looks good to me. No issues forward right now. So press G. Let's press R. Y. One more thing that you notice it is rotating about the world origin. I don't want it. Click on individual origins. So press R. Y. See. Looks good to me. 
press Rx the main aim of this simple model is just to know how to teach you digging uh, that's all 